Hey guys, it is Kristen Shelby from Indie Hip Chick, and today's video is going to be a review and lip swatches of the Urban Decay Vice Palette. Um, it's a really pretty palette, and I really like the way that these shades look, so I thought I would bring them to you guys and show you uh, kind of what they look and what I think of each individual shade. So if you would like to see this review, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of just show you guys the palette and all of the colors and then I will go through and put them all on so you can kind of see what it looks like on me. This is the palette. It's kind of a nice reflective surface. I really like this packaging. And then when you open it, there is a mirror, I won't blind you guys, and a little covering protective thing for the uh, lipsticks basically so they don't get ruined. Um, and it says lipstick is my vice, which I think is super cute. And then you open it up and here are all the different shades we got some light ones some dark ones so kind of whatever look you're going for you can probably make it happen and then it also comes with this retractable lip brush so basically it's kind of small and compact so it can fit in the palette but then if you just pull it then a brush comes out and yeah so that way it's always with you and you can use it for all the shades um, so I will go ahead and jump in and start trying them on. So the first shade I'm going to try is called Vanished and it's this light tannish color right here. So this is Vanished. Um, it doesn't really wow me. I like the texture of it. It's pretty creamy but um, it's kind of sheer and a little bit light. I think I might like it a little bit more if I had a maybe like a plum or something color lip liner around it just to kind of give that ombre effect. Um, it actually it doesn't look terrible and I could wear it on its own but it's just not really my go-to type of look so I probably wouldn't wear this one on its own but pair it with the liner I think I can make it work. So next we are going to go to 1993. I can see why this one's called 1993 giving me total 90s brown lip liner TLC kind of vibes. So this is 1993. I actually really like this one. I could definitely see myself wearing this probably to a few different kind of locations. I could see this on a night out or maybe even like a low key kind of dinner event or something like that. I could see myself wearing this. So now we are going to move on to ex-girlfriend. So this is Ex-Girlfriend. This is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite colors in the palette. I feel like it's a great low key kind of nudie color. Um, and I just think it looks really pretty. I even really like it with this eyeshadow look that I'm wearing today, so I like it. Um, I actually like to kind of mix this one with the next color that I'm gonna show you guys, Amulet, but I actually really like this color on its own too. Alrighty, so this is Amulet, and I really like this color. This is probably like my second favorite color in the palette. Um, I think this is good for like a night out, just kind of being sultry and out at the bar or something with your friends. I really like this one. I think it's a good look. So this is Conspiracy. Um, I'm not the hugest fan of this one. It's almost like a metallic-y bronze kind of feel. It's okay, but I don't know that I would necessarily pick this one to wear on a daily basis or anything like that. Maybe if I was going for like a specifically kind of purposeful darker look, I would go with it, but eh, I don't know. It's all right, but it's not really wowing me. So this one is a black male and she's definitely dark. I could see it for like a vampy fall kind of look, but I don't know that I love it with this type of creamy formula. Um, usually if I'm gonna go for a darker lip, then I try to get something that's like a matte liquid lipstick or something like that. Something that I know is gonna stay in place all day because a lot of times with lipsticks like this, um, when you first put it on, you might be able to get it super dark, but then if you're out and you're eating or drinking or anything like that, then you'll kind of wear it away and then like right in this 
inner lip area then your lip color will kind of start showing through and I don't really like that look so although I could deal with the color I don't know that I would necessarily wear it in this type of formula so this is 714 and I actually really really like this shade I always say that my skin complexion with super dark hair and a bright red lip is like my favorite thing in the world. So I really, really like this. And also this one is a lot more matte than the other ones. The other ones that I've tried so far have been kind of more creamy and almost some of them being a little bit sheer. But this one feels like it's more matte and it will probably stay put a little bit better than those other ones. So this one's a winner. I'll definitely be coming back to this one. This color is called Easy. Um, I really like this one. It's not as mattifying as 714 was, but I like it. I think it's good. It's a little bit more on the orangey side than 714, so if you want one that's a little bit darker, I guess you would say, then 714 would be a good one. But if you like a little bit of a brighter lip and want to be a little bold, I think this one's a good one. I like this look. So this color is called Disobedient. I am not a huge fan of it. It's too bubble gummy for me. Um, has a really creamy texture though. I like the texture a lot, but I'm not really a huge fan of the color. This one is called Firebird and I am really digging this color. I like it a lot. I feel like it's really bold and it's like a exciting, almost fuchsia, but I'm kind of seeing like some maybe hints of purple in it too. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but I didn't think I would like this one that much, but I really like this one. This might be up in my top five on this one. This color is called Sheer Shame. I actually really, really, really like this one. Um, it's a lot more sheer than it looks on camera. My lips are pretty pink from taking on or putting on and taking off so many different lipsticks back to back. It's kind of a darkish maroon color, but it's really sheer. So I think if you're somebody that doesn't like a really bold lip and kind of just wants to keep it a little more low key, then this one might be a good like nighttime look for you because it'll add you a little bit of color and a little bit of kind of sultriness to your look, but it won't be over the top and too dramatic. Okay y'all, so I was going in order throughout the palette and then I saw this color and knew that I had to wait and record this one last. So this is Big Bang and I love it. It is a pink with a ton of glitter in it and I think it looks so pretty. I think the glitter's showing up on camera, I don't know, but in person it looks amazing. Um, I think this one would be great for like New Year's Eve or a birthday look or something like that when you're kind of trying to be a little bit more glam. Um, it might even be good as like a lip topper or something like that. It has some pigment to it, but it's not super, super pigmented behind the glitter. So maybe if you had a red or purple lip and wanted to put this on top or even just in the center, I think that would look really pretty too. But yeah, as far as glam, this is the one you want out of this palette. It is booming big bang alrighty so that is basically it for the urban decay vice palette review um, like I said I really like these shades I really like the texture and consistency of the lipsticks um, I know right now that the palette is still on sale on sephora.com I can't remember how much it is off the top of my head I think it's around $20 um, or if you just want any of the individual shades I believe they are all um, also available at Sephora as individual lipsticks and I think those are $17 
So, um, yeah, if you want to go out and get one or all of them, then go for it. Again, the Vice palette is a limited edition, so if you want one, you should probably go get it, like, now. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Uh, also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you never miss any of our uploads. And if you would like to see how I got this eyeshadow look or my full face foundation routine, then we will link those videos somewhere around here. Um, we'll have them linked for you and you can click those and keep watching because I really like this look. So I feel like you guys deserve it and you want to see the whole thing. So might as well stick around, kick your feet up and watch a few more of our videos and just kind of get ready with me. So I will see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.